There are three different types of SSL certificates, domain validation, organization validation, and extended validation, all of which will give your website secure HTTPS. Most of these cost money, while sometimes you can get domain validation certificates for free. My question is, are free SSL certificates good enough, or is it worth the extra money to pay for one? We will get into the specific differences between the certificate types later on, but first let's see how much some of these certificates cost. Paid domain validation SSL certificates cost anywhere from $7 all the way up to $250 per year. Organization validation SSL certificates range from $19 to $350 per year, and extended validation SSLs cost the most. The most expensive SSL certificate I could find was this EV1 from Digicert for over $1,700, whereas you can get them for as low as $70 from somewhere like Namecheap. Now, like I said, you can actually get a domain validation SSL certificate for free, which we will talk about that in a bit. So keep this in mind as we now take a look at the actual differences between these certificate types. As the name suggests, the main difference between DV, OV, and EV SSLs is in the validation that happens prior to the certificate issuance. For DV, one must demonstrate that they own the domain name. For OV, one must demonstrate that they own the business associated with the domain name. And for EV, a bunch of additional business related information must be confirmed before the certificate is issued. Now, from a security perspective, all SSL certificates serve the same exact purpose, which is to encrypt traffic between your website and users. In general, there is no improvement in security between DV, OV, and EV SSL certificates. In other words, each certificate type is essentially identical when it comes to security. And when you peel back the marketing, you can actually see this where the same encryption algorithms are being used regardless of whether it's a DV, OV, or EV SSL. So if you're getting the same level of security, why would you ever pay for an SSL certificate? Well, back in the day, browsers used to prominently distinguish websites that used extended validation by displaying their company name next to the lock icon. But as of late 2019, Google Chrome and pretty much every other major web browser stopped showing this because it did not protect users as intended since users did not make more secure choices such as not entering passwords or credit card information when the company name was removed. Today, at least for Google Chrome, a website visitor must click on the lock icon, connection is secure, certificate is valid, and then details to see this information. HTTPS might mean that a website is secure, but it does not indicate any type of trustworthiness. So for most websites and small businesses, I personally don't see any value in getting anything other than a domain validation SSL. And additionally, with all certificate types being equal from a security standpoint, I don't see any reason to pay for the certificate either. A nonprofit certificate authority called Let's Encrypt, which is backed by many notable sponsors, including the Linux Foundation, has taken the traditional SSL certificate industry by storm over the past few years by offering free automated domain validation SSL certificates. Many web hosting platforms have begun to incorporate Let's Encrypt certificates into their platforms, while any self-hosted website can get their own free SSL certificate in just a matter of minutes. I personally use Let's Encrypt SSL certificates exclusively on all of my websites. And one question I had was how search engines like Google perceive the different SSL certificate types and whether they preferred paid SSL certs to free ones. And then I found this video of John Mueller, a webmaster trends analyst at Google, answering this exact question. Do you think different type of SSL is also important for SEO? No. Or just free SSL or enough? Free SSL is, is perfectly fine. Uh, so the different types of certificates is, is more a matter of kind of like, I don't know, like what, what you want to do with a certificate. But uh, from our point of view, we just watch out for, is this a valid certificate or not? And all of these certificates are valid. If you want to get set up with a free SSL certificate for your website, I have a bunch of videos on this channel to get you going and a whole bunch of other videos to help you with other aspects of your website.